Hey guys. So with everything going on these days with the virus going around and <coughs> um, just all the negative news and everything, all these deaths that we keep seeing, I'm sure that everybody is kind of worried. I know that I am. So today I kind of wanted to show you some of the things that that I want to start using and incorporating for better lung function for myself to try to help me to get through if anything were to happen or even prevent anything from happening. Like they said, uh, it usually starts in your throat before it goes to your lungs and if we can use certain things to try to prevent it from getting to our lungs that would be great, right? So some of the things that I'm going to start using and have been even incorporating are things like hot peppers, any kind of hot pepper, jalapeno, we'll use your jalapeno, chili peppers, any kind of hot pepper is good. It, capsaicin is good for lung function, respiratory function. Um, so hot sauces, you know, I use, um, I like this kind of sauce, uh, crystal hot sauce. This isn't really strong, so if you don't really like spicy foods, um, then something like this would be good. Tabasco sauce, that's not really too, too spicy. But if you're used to spicy foods and you really like them, then something like ghost pepper hot sauce, that's really going to open up your airways. Uh, it's very good for you. You know, now if you're not used to anything like that, don't take too much at once because then it's going to have the opposite effect. So you want to work on it slowly. That's what I've been doing and um, the more that you consume spicy foods, the more you get used to it and your body gets used to it and you can handle more and stronger, stronger things and you start to crave it. And that's what I've been doing, so, uh, and it tastes really good. But anyway, all these things are, you know, strong, spicy, bitter, all those types of things are going to help, help clear out your lungs and clear out your arteries, you know, and just be very beneficial. <clears throat> Mustard seed. So any kind of mustard, Dijon mustard, yellow mustard, this is just uh, old style mustard. It's basically just mustard seed, really good. And I read before that they did tests, uh, studies where people with lung cancer have used mustard to help them be able to breathe. I cannot remember where I read that, but I've read that before. Horseradish, now this is not like the best kind to get because this has a lot of crap in it but I prefer the fresh minced horseradish but this will do this will work anything that has that little bit of kick to it you know that's what you want to get so all this stuff a little bit daily of all of these things will help or should help and you, know, you can put this on sandwiches burgers anything salads even anything like that onions same thing put them on salads sandwiches burgers um, veggie burgers you can make them with potatoes eggs they're very good cooked or raw but obviously raw is always better fresh and raw is always better lemons um, you know, these could be squeezed on salads or you can just put a little bit in some water. I know a lot of uh, people that are really into health and fitness, they'll just put some, squeeze some lemon into water, usually lukewarm water in the morning when they first get up before they eat anything. But you don't have to do that. You don't have to be that strict with it. You could just make lemonade and put sugar in it and that'll still be beneficial. Just getting that lemon juice in even with the sugar, is going to be good for you. It's going to be good for your lungs. So, <clears throat> ginger, any kind of ginger, you can get fresh ginger root, put that in salads, cook that in things, put it on chicken, or just have like these ginger chews, they're little ginger candies. Um, mm -hmm. 
and I'll show you what they look like. They're, it's kind of like taffy, almost. Um, these, I don't prefer. My boyfriend likes these more than I do, but they're very good. They're very strong, really good for your throat. You can feel it right away. It's very strong. So that or I also like these ginger mints. Um, these are really good. These aren't very strong and they're good if you have a sore throat and they're good for um, digestive issues too. And what else? Hot teas. Any kind of hot tea, obviously, I'm going to be using and... You know, they said, I've, I've seen that, uh, or heard, that having hot teas is really good to help prevent anything from getting to your lungs. It just helps it pass and go right through. And um, Earl Grey is a really good hot tea. It, it When you first have it, if you haven't had it, you might be like thinking it's not that great. When I first had it, I didn't like it. But then again, I had a different brand. This is the best that I've had, the Bigelow. Um, that Twinnings, or Twinings, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. If you know, please let me know. Uh, but that one isn't good. I would suggest getting this because that is the one that I had and I didn't like it. But this one is way, way better. It smells so good. Green tea, chamomile tea, any, any herbal tea or not herbal tea, anything hot, even coffee would be good. Um, I can't drink coffee every day, but coffee twice a week even, even decaffeinated, anything warm, you know, will be really good and help and helpful. Now this isn't for lungs really, but this is beneficial for your health, kefir. And I like the whole milk kefir. There's low fat too. But I definitely prefer the whole fat, whole milk, um, peach one, and this is my favorite. Probiotics, good bacteria, and it's very good for your health to have a cup of that a day. Um, and then, if you don't have a drinking problem, I just thought of this too. I thought, you know what, having a shot in the morning, one shot in the morning and one shot before bed, would probably be good. Clears your throat out, clears everything, kind of opens up everything. Just two a day, one in the morning, one at night. You know, but if you have a problem where you can't stop, that might not be good. Although if you get a little tipsy, that, that might be okay too, right? That relax you a little bit. So it has that added benefit. But yeah, these are just some of the things. I don't have everything here with me. Apple cider vinegar, I don't have that right now, but that would be really good to have to incorporate honey. Manuka honey is really good. It's very expensive. It's very expensive. So you could use any honey, regular honey, any kind of raw honey. Raw would be better um, than the kind that, you know, it, a lot of them just have, like they're mixed with corn syrup and things like that. So raw honey would be the best way to go. But yep, I'm gonna be doing these. I'm gonna try to have a little bit of everything every day, especially while this is going on and then also working out, getting, being more active, exercising in any way. There's yoga for your lungs, for breathing, um, any kind of breathing exercises on a daily basis would be a good idea. I want to start doing more aerobics, things like that. Um, trying to think, I don't want to forget anything. But yeah, um, it's really scary right now with everything going on. I hear about it, see it every day, just as the rest of you, I'm sure. And it could kind of just drive you a little crazy, right? So. The best thing to do is do whatever we can to make ourselves feel better and more confident, more healthy. So um, laughing, we need to laugh more. I know I need to do that. So watching comedies, 
watching stand-up comedians, anything to make you laugh every day, to work out your lungs, karaoke, singing, you know, yeah, just get a song on YouTube and sing with it and do that and do that every, a little bit every day. Anything to work out the respiratory system is going to be good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like, and I'd love it if you would subscribe. Okay, have a great night or day, wherever you may be, and whenever you might be watching this.